So this SBC glitch has been saving me, honestly, so many coins. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make one last video on it and cash in on that sweet, sweet <laughs> YouTube ad revenue. So I'll tell you what. If you want to see another episode of me showing you guys some SBCs to use this SBC glitch with, simply smash over 500 likes in the next 24 hours. Let's get into the video. So today's sponsor is going to be Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator teaches people how they can make some extra money doing something called matched betting. This isn't gambling, and when you do it correctly, you can't lose. I must mention though, guys, you have to be 18 or over to use their site. Matched betting has been covered by The Telegraph. Vice, money saving expert, genuinely loads of different places. So how does it work? Bookmakers try to attract new customers by using promotions. The main way that they do this is by using free bets and bonuses and we can take advantage of these to make a profit. For example, say a bookmaker like William Hill are offering a £50 bonus to new customers. We could then sign up and maybe place a bet of £50 on a coin toss landing on heads and a £50 bet on the same coin toss landing on tails. Whatever the result, it doesn't matter. You won't win or lose any money because you've covered all possible outcomes. However, you then get a £50 bonus, so you're £50 up. So many people have tried doing match betting before, me included. I tried doing this ages ago and I just... I just got a bit too confused with it and thankfully Profit Accumulator actually sort all this out for you. Even if you've never placed a bet before or even if you know nothing about sports, it doesn't matter because they literally walk you through every available bonus step by step, teaching you how to turn it into cash for your bank account. So what I've done guys is left a link in the description which you can go and click on and go to a free trial for Profit Accumulator. I must stress though, you've got to be over 18 and in the UK to take advantage of this. There's a link in the description, so make sure to go and check it out. But, let's get into this video. Oh, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 so welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, we are back for another episode of this sort of SBC glitch series. This glitch has been getting so much attention recently with... Big YouTubers like Matt HD Gamer featuring me recently in FIFA Myths, which is absolutely sick. So if you've come over from Matt's channel, how are you doing? Subscribe, why not? You're here now. But basically right now, there is a glitch in FIFA 20 where you can duplicate players to use them in an SBC. I'll leave a link to my tutorial in the description, so make sure to go and check that out before watching this video. And we are going to be starting off in the Serie A for our first SBC, and it is going to be the Juventus SBC. I'm not even saying that stupid name, though. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not bothering with it. It's going to be the Juve SBC. And as you can see right here, we've actually got quite a few different duplicate players in this SBC. So what I'm going to do is run through everything and show you guys how much I've spent, tell you guys how much it is on footbin and how much I've saved overall. So first off in goal, we've got Perrin at 1,500. Left back is this guy right here, Ramirez, who I got for 1,000 coins. Centre back is this guy right here, who was a first owner. Next up is Regani, who's 1,300. His duplicate card, which was 1,500. Got Chan over here, 1,600. Got this guy from Uruguay, I think that is, at 2,000 coins. I've got his his duplicate as well at 2100. I've got a silver card in there who's a first owner. We've also got Belotti as well at 950 and we've also got Martinez who is a first owner. So we've actually saved quite a few coins with this one obviously with the different first owners that we've got but using these duplicates is absolutely perfect for these SBCs and we're going to be submitting that one at 11,000 coins and we are going to be getting ourselves a mega pack for 11,000 coins which is going to be tradable which is absolutely ridiculous considering that the cheapest solution on footbin right now is around 16,000 coins so let's get that one submitted next up we're going to be jumping over to the super league and we are going to be going over to galatasaray now galatasaray i've only used one duplicate player with this and this is what that team is looking like as you can see goalkeeper position is going to be 700 coins left Bye. Left back position is going to be at 850. Got our first centre back here for 700 coins. Next centre back is going to be 650 coins. And then the right back is actually a duplicate of our left back who was 750 coins. We've also got our CDM position where I'm going to be putting a banging dunk on it by putting this guy... <laughs> That's awful. He was 700 coins though. We've got Nzonzi, who was a first owner. We've also got Seri as well, who was 600 coins. This guy right here, 450. You, 700 coins. And you, 400 coins. Overall, I spent around 6,500 coins on this. And it actually is, I think, about 11,000 coins on footbin. And from this, we are going to be getting ourselves a 25k pack, which is a rare gold pack. And then finally, we're going to be going into the La Liga Santander and going over to Real Madrid. 
Madrid. Now, this one is where you're going to be saving quite a few coins by doing this. And this actually gets you, as far as I'm aware, a mega pack. But let's just run through it really, really quickly. Got this guy in net, 1,100. Easy stuff. We've got Savage there, 1,100. We've got Nacho Fernandez, 2,000 coins. We've got a centre back here who was a first owner. Malo over here, 900 coins. It's Santi Cazola, who was a first owner. We've got Valverde, who was 1.7k. And then his duplicate, which was 1.7k. We've got Vasquez over here at 1.3k and then his duplicate over here at 1.3k and then we've got Backer in the middle tying everything up and if we go to submit this we are indeed going to be getting ourselves a mega pack and for this one we spent around ten and a half thousand coins with the cheapest on foot bin being at 15,000 coins so this glitch lads honestly has saved me probably overall around 10,000 coins with all these different SBCs. So jumping over to the store we've got all the packs here and what we're going to be doing is opening these and trying to sell everything within that pack. Now just before we get into the packs lads I am actually doing a giveaway right now for my subscribers for 4,600 FIFA points. All you guys need to do is like this video and comment down below. You know what? I'll do the same one as yesterday. Comment down below and tell me how many coins you've got in FIFA 20 right now because that'll dictate some of the videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. So let's start off with the first pack and it is going to be a rare gold pack. We have got 12 golds and 12 rares in this. I'm hoping for any headliners cards Fingers crossed we get something. That was a very, very big flare though. I'm hoping... I'm not speaking. I really don't know what to say about that. But we actually got Hector Bellerin who could be going for something, which he is as well. 3.8k. So you know what? That is actually pretty decent. I'll get him listed up for around 3.8k. Is there anything else in here that could be going for something? You? Are you going for anything? Let's have a look. Nothing. Ugh. What about you? I know for a fact you're not going for anything. Ugh. So I'll get all that listed up onto the transfer marking. Let's just take a look at other things. Position modifiers, they're going for quite a bit at the minute. CM to CDM. Okay, that one I could get a few coins off, so around 850. And considering we spent around 6,500 coins on this, I'm happy to just keep the rest and just break even on that pack because I've got some consumables that can just go into my club now, which is perfect for me. So now we've got ourselves two mega packs, and in one of these mega packs, I'm hoping that there's a headliners card. Please. Please, please, just anything, anything. The pack is opening. We have got a very, very big flare that time. This one is actually going to be a board or a walkout. I'm not too sure. It's going to be right mid. German Muller. Is it going to be Muller? Nabry. You know what? I'll take Nabry as well. Nab that actually looks like a pretty decent card, you know. 90 pace, 85 dribbling, and 82 shot. That actually looks like a very, very nice super sub. I mean, I'm not too sure if he gets straight into my team, but like I said, he's... He actually looks pretty decent, you know. Four star, four star. I'm actually half tempted to keep him. Let's just see how much he's going for. It looks like right here, though, that he's probably going for around 6,000 coins. So, to be honest, I'm going to be listing mine up for 6,000 coins. I think that just taking the coins with this one is just probably the best idea. Considering that we spent around 11,000 coins on both of the SBCs, roughly, to get this mega pack, we still need to make back some of these coins. So we've got Casillas right here who I can list up. Lovely stuff. And we've got loads of other players as well who I'm just going to list up on an open bid and hope that they just go for something. I'm hoping that they just sell on. As long as they sell on, I'm more than happy. Just going to quickly have a look through some of the consumables as well, see if there's any position modifiers kicking about. And there actually is a CM to CAM isn't really going for anything. Damn it. I mean, we've just redeemed that 1,000 coins, so that's something. Is there anything else? Anything else? I don't think there is, so let's just keep all of that as well. So, guys, we are going to be moving into this last mega pack. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a massive like on it. If you drop a like right now, I guarantee that I'll get headliners in this next pack. What's that? You don't believe me? All right, fine. That's not headliners. I mean, we've got a bit of fodder in this pack, but to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to have to sell all of it to make my coins back, and that's going to take me a while, so... Two seconds, just whilst I list everything up. So jumping over to the transfer list, some of our players that have immediately started selling on with Hector Bellerin and Nabry. I've also got so many different cards up on the transfer list right now, so we should be making some very, very nice profit when all of these sell on. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, but that is where I'm going to be finishing this video. So if you've enjoyed it, drop a like on it. If you've come from Matt's channel, hello, subscribe. If you've not come from Matt's channel, subscribe anyway. Comment down below. There'll be videos popping up at the end of this as well, so make sure to go and watch another video. If you want to find out how to do this glitch, make sure to check the link in the description. But this 36, this has been this SBC glitch saves you so many coins, and I am off.